Hi, welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub. On today's episode, we're going to cover the topic of maintenance, specifically on the EM1010 model. Now, the reason why we wanted to cover this topic is because maintenance is actually one of, if not the most important topic when it comes to embroidering with your machines. Now, when it comes to embroidering with the machines, the reason why you want to make sure you always follow the proper steps for maintenance is because this is the only way that you're actually going to ensure that your machine continues to run as smoothly. If not, things can go downhill. Now, for starters, grease is one of the things that you're going to need when it comes to maintenance. Um, this is white lithium grease. You can pick this up at any hardware store, whether that be the Home Depot, Ace, or perhaps maybe at an auto parts store like Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone. So that's the grease. Then you have the oil. This has to be specifically for sewing machine only. It has to be sewing machine oil. That's the oil you want to use to ensure that you don't actually cause any harm to the machine. You can pick this up at any retailer online such as Amazon, uh, perhaps maybe even Walmart or anywhere where you can buy any similar products for sewing machines themselves. And then just a little lint brush. This actually comes part of your toolbox that gets sent out as well as the little casing that you have here for the oil. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here I am with our EM1010. So when it comes to maintenance, I'll start off with the most basic, uh, which is using the lint brush. So when it comes with the brush, it's just mostly used in the rotary case area. Uh, once you open the flap, you just want to make sure that you take your brush and any excessive thread that may be in there that was caught up after it has been snipping, just go ahead and clear it out. Another thing you want to do as well is remove this needle plate up top. I've already removed the two screws. So I'm able to just take off the needle plate. And again, any thread that you may find in here that needs to be just brushed off, just making sure that it's nice and clean. So while we're up here on the needle plates, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove the bobbin case itself. Again, this is also something that you're going to need to dust off with the brush. Just a quick brush inside if there's any thread whatsoever. And then at the top of the needle plate, this is where you can actually apply oil as well. This rod here, you want to make sure that it's nice and lubricated. So just a nice drop or two to make sure that it's running smoothly. And then also as well in the rotary case. So one or two drops and you should be good to go. Now, when it comes to the oiling, you want to make sure that you use this for every four hours of continuous use. This is the one that you're mostly going to do periodically. And then when it comes to the bobbin case itself, you can actually, from time to time, remove the bobbin itself, or whenever it has run out, that's a good time to actually go through the process of just taking like a business card and just sliding it through the slit that's there where we actually run the bobbin case through and making sure that that's nice and cleaned out, okay? So once that's done, that actually pretty much takes care of the rotary case area. Afterwards, the next spot would be the take-up levers themselves with the needles. Again, this is with the oil. So you'll just take the oil and then, not for every single one, but for perhaps maybe every other two or three drops, so every three or every two, just making sure that you get it there nice and even. This one is something that you want to do every week, I would say. For maintenance, this doesn't have to be as constant as the rotary case area. And then the next spot that you're going to want to make sure you actually take care of with oil would be the rail which the head slides on top of. So with the machine, you're actually going to have to go ahead and change the needles to actually access that section. So I'll go ahead and choose 10 so that it just brings it all the way to the right and it exposes this rail here. This is the rail that I was referring to that you're going to want to go ahead and oil. All right. And then same thing on the other side. So I'll go ahead and change it to needle one and just apply the sewing machine oil. So that takes care of all the locations that you actually want to go ahead and oil. Again, with oiling, 
for those areas it's just every week more so focused on the rotary case area then the final thing would be the lithium grease this is the one that you're going to do less frequently only because grease tends to last much longer than the oil the oil will actually dry up much quicker when it comes to the grease there's a few areas uh, the first part is the black rail which the head also utilizes to move from left to right and again just like the previous rail you'll have to choose the different needles to access the different spots so as you can see here on this side since I have it on needle one I'm able to access the right side here where you can apply the lithium grease on this side and then I'll go ahead and choose needle 10 and that exposes the rod on this side as you can see there's already grease on there and this is the part that takes the grease itself when it comes to grease as I said it was is less often so it's gonna be like on a monthly basis depending on your use in the machine if you, but you'll be safe on a monthly basis even if you're using it continuously every single day that would be the least I would say and then for the other position when it comes to the grease is the bearings for the color change so that section is actually going to have to be from behind the head if we get a shot here you'll see that with the machine at needle number 10 you're actually able to see the bearings located right here in this section so just applying some grease here in this section again every month or so and then when we move the head over to needle number one then the head will shift over and again if we come around from the back you'll see that you'll be able to access the bearings back here once again making sure that you have these greased up so that's when it comes to the grease and that's pretty much all of the points that need to be covered when it comes to proper maintenance on your machine I want to thank you all for watching if you like this video please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel feel free to comment if you have any questions regarding this video I also want to invite you to join our Facebook group Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery where you can join other embroiderers and apparel decorators such as yourself. In it, you could ask questions and share tips and knowledge among one another. And for any additional information about our products or services, you can visit www.recoma.us. You'll find all these links I mentioned in the description below. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next time.